You know that accurate captions are crucial for training LoRa models, but how are you training video LoRa's like Hunyuan? Manually captioning videos for training datasets is a huge bottleneck. What if I told you there's a tool that can automate this entire process in minutes? If you're working with video LoRa scripts, you know that's important to have good captions for your training data. You can do without it or using a comfy UI workflow to caption it, but you will end up captioning just a single image instead all the video information. And in the end, will not be the same thing. However, manually creating them is time consuming and error prone. I know that some of you love captioning, but what if you could generate captions automatically while keeping your data set perfectly organized? Stick around because I'm about to show you how King Long Captioner uses Google's Gemini AI and Lance database to revolutionize captioning for LoRa training. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll wonder how you ever trained models without it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Polyphase channel. If you're new here, we create videos about tools and tech that make AI development easier. Today, we're talking about Kinglong Captioner, a really useful tool to caption your video dataset. In this video, you'll learn how to automatically generate captions for your video datasets using the accurate Google's Gemini AI model, export them in TXT format, and manage your files efficiently with Lance Database. Perfect for training LoRa models like Hunyuan. I've been introduced to this tool recently and it's saved me hours of work. Whether you're training Hunyuan video LoRa's or any other model, this tool is a must have. Here's what we'll cover first. I'll show you how to set up the tool. Then we'll dive into the auto captioning process. And finally, I'll reveal how to use this tool to create perfectly captioned datasets for LoRa training. But stick around until the end because I'll show you how to batch process hundreds of videos for your LoRa training datasets in one go, saving you even more time. If you're working with video LoRa scripts, you know how important it is to have precise, well-organized datasets. But setting up tools to pre-process your data can be a headache. That's where King Long Captioner comes in. Here's how you can get started first. The first step is to clone the repository. Think of it like downloading the tool's blueprint so you can start using it right away. Just clone it into your favorite folder and then you're ready for the next step. After cloning the repository, navigate into the King Long Captioner folder, run the installation script. It's just one command and it handles everything for you. Next, you'll need to configure your Gemini API in the API handler. Hi script, don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. Let's break it down step by step. Open your browser and head to Google AI Studio. This is where you'll get your API key. If you already have a Google account, sign in. If not, create one. It's free and only takes a minute. Once you're logged in, Look for the API keys section. It's usually in the settings or dashboard area. Click on create API key or generate new key. Google will create a unique code for you. This is your Gemini API key. Once the key is generated, copy it. Be careful with it. Treat it like a password because it gives access to Google's AI tools. Open the API handler, high script in King Long Captioner, Find the section where it asks for the API key and paste your key there. Save the file and you're all set. That's it. You're ready to go. Pro tip, make sure you have PowerShell installed if you're on Linux. I'll leave a link in the description to a guide that walks you through this step by step. Let me know in the comments if you've ever struggled with pre-processing datasets for LoRa training. I'd love to hear your experiences here in PowerShell, you can see the videos being processed, but hold on. I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step. The process is straightforward. Just place your videos in the datasets folder, copy and paste the commands into PowerShell and let the script do the rest. It will import the videos, export data from Lance format and use the Gemini model to generate video captions 
automatically. But what is Lance format? Imagine you have a giant library of videos and you need to keep track of all the details about them, like their names, where they're stored, and even the captions you generate. Instead of writing everything down in a long, messy list, which would take forever to search through Lance format is like a super organized filing system. That's why we use three simple scripts. One to import your videos, another to export the data from Lance format, and the final one to generate captions for your videos. It's like a well-organized assembly line that takes care of everything for you. What makes King Long Captioner truly unique is that it doesn't just analyze a single frame of your video. It examines multiple frames to understand the full context. This allows it to create a detailed timeline where actions are categorized, giving you captions that are accurate. Once the captions are generated, they're exported in SRT format, but not ready to be used in your LoRa training pipeline yet. We'll have to convert it to text using a Python script. I'll be sharing this Python script on my Patreon for cleaning SRT files, and converting them into text that's perfectly formatted for LoRa training datasets. Let's quickly recap what we covered. How to set up King Long Captioner in minutes. How to use Gemini AI for auto captioning. Perfect for LoRa training datasets. How to batch process videos and export captions SRT format. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more AI and tech tips. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. I'd love to hear from you. What's the biggest challenge you face when pre-processing datasets for LoRa training? Let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video.